Hi guys, um, this is probably gonna be my last video for the year. I've missed you guys. I, I really wish we could have finished the year f with each other, like a normal year, um, but I hope that you guys are all staying safe and that's what's really important because we'll see each other next year, except for you fifth graders who are, you know, up to sixth grade, but you can always come back and visit. Um, at the end of the year, I usually do not a box, um, this is a really cool book and it's about being creative and using your imagination, which sometimes with all the video games and all the TV, um, we kind of lose some of our imagination, our creativity. So I want you to listen to the book and then um, you're going to have the chance to be creative, to turn off the TV and turn off your iPad and turn off your computer and um, try to be very creative and imaginative and I hope that you guys have fun and I hope you have a really great summer and I will see you guys in the fall. This is called Not A Box by Antoinette Portis. Um, she made it look like a box, it feels like a box. Um, it says net weight 11.5 ounces. I haven't measured it to see if that's what it really weighs. Um, it has won the Dr. Seuss Honor Award here we go. And the paper is also like a box. The story actually starts on this title page. It says, not a box. And here's the bunny. And he sees a box. He's carrying the box. Not a box. Two children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. That's his dedication. Or her dedication. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. And if you look, this is the original box. If we look back on the other page, this is the box he's sitting in. And this is what he's imagining is in red. Hey, what are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Why are you squirting a box? I said it's not a box. Now you're wearing a box? This is not a box. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Well, what is it then? Hmm. It's my not a box. It's not a box. And there he is blasting off into space in his not a box. And it says this side up, just like a box says on the side. Not a box. Now you have two options for your assignment. First option is um, if you have a box at home, you find a box, like if your parents ordered something from Amazon or you have a shoe box or you have any kind of box that's at home, um, you turn it into something. Not just imagine it, which you could do, but I also want you to like use markers or crayons or colored pencils or drawing paper or whatever you can to turn your box into that thing. So if you imagine that it's a car, see if you can make it into a car, make it look like a car. If you're gonna imagine that it is, what's one of the other things he thought, um, a hot air balloon, then you're gonna make it look like a hot air balloon or a mountaintop or a robot or whatever it is that you imagine up here. That's your first option if you have a box and you wanna do that. Let me show you how to draw a box and then you can draw it into something. So here we go. Okay, for this project, you can turn your paper either landscape, which is going across horizontally, or you can put it vertical, which is going up and down. It doesn't matter. And you can make your box any size or shape that you want. If you have something that has a straight edge, like let's say I use the side of this box or book. <laughs> um, you can use the side of a book or you can use a ruler to make your box. Or you can just 
freehand it, which means just draw it as straight as you can. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sides of a book because I don't have my ruler handy. Okay, I'm making a box. I'm trying to line up the edges by using this straight edge. And I have a little bitty gap there if you can see, so I'm gonna close that up. Now I'm gonna look at my box and I'm gonna see what I can turn it into. So again, you could do this going horizontally or you can go up and down, which is portrait, vertical. Um, I think I'll turn it actually this way. Now I'm thinking about it. Well, let's see if you can see what I'm gonna turn mine into. I turned my box into a cat. And then I can add a background to it. I could put the cat somewhere. Hmm, I have to think about where I wanna put my cat. But you get the idea, you can draw your cat, you can, or sorry, you can turn your box into something and then create a background. That was one idea. Got a little bit of Sharpie on this page, but it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to make another box. Not a box, but a flower pot. Now it's your turn. And I challenge you not to make your box into a cat or a flower pot or a butterfly. And I know that's really hard and if you can't think of anything else, then go for it, but um, try. And it took me a minute to sit and think, you can't see that on the video, but it took me a minute to sit and think and look at it and think, what could I turn this into? It wasn't instantaneous. It means I didn't think of it right away. I had to look at the box and I had to think and I had to imagine. Um, and then I made my box into something. Now it's your turn. You can either turn an actual box into something or you can draw a box like I did and turn it into something. And I hope you guys color it. I didn't show you guys, I didn't show you me coloring it, but I would color it also um, if I had the time. So um, I'm gonna miss you guys. I hope you have a great summer and know that your teachers uh, miss you and we think about you and it, feel free to email anytime that you need something um, or if you need an idea, you can always look at my YouTube channel. I put all of them on there. Um, I think it's just Rebecca Dukes. And um, you can just, I hope you're creative and, and think of fun things to do this summer. Uh, not everything on the TV or iPad, I hope. I know it's really hard. Um, and I hope that you enjoy your summer and for almost everyone, I'll see you in the fall. Fifth graders know that you can always come back and that we'll miss you. All right, miss you all, bye.